63 degrees right now in Denver. You can see the camera bouncing around a little bit. If you haven't noticed, it's windy outside. 37 mile per hour wind gusts here in Denver, 40 mile per hour gusts in the springs and 44 mile per hour gusts down in Canyon City. We do have a high wind warning. Uh, that goes until six, uh, from 6 p.m. until midnight. The wind is expected to get even worse here with time. So if you're on the eastern plains, hold on to something this afternoon. It's going to get awfully windy as the storm goes by. Here's the radar showing the rain and snow moving from the western slope into the mountains. We're still dry here along the front range, but that will change with time. Many of us will get wet for at least a little while late afternoon into the early evening, which is great. We need the moisture. There's the storm right over Telluride here this midday. It's going to move into the Midwest tomorrow. Back behind it, we're going to set up a northwesterly flow. So temperatures are going to be rather chilly and with the wind blowing it's going to feel even cooler will actually be near normal tomorrow but compared to where we've been recently it's going to feel a lot cooler as we're in between low pressure to our east and high pressure that'll build in from california keeping us dry for the end of the week into at least the start of the halloween weekend so here's the future cast you can see that moisture moving out of the mountains and onto the front range urban corridor mainly after 3 4 p.m we'll see some showers out on the eastern plains as well there could even be a rumble of thunder in there if it stays warm enough and then by 10 o'clock tonight we should do anticipate a switch from rain to snow along the palmer divide in douglas and other counties but any accumulation in here is going to be pretty minor even overnight tonight any additional accumulation after midnight in the mountains will be very minor but that wind will continue into tomorrow so it's going to look like it's snowing uh, with the wind blowing around winter weather advisory until midnight for the western mountains down in the san juans as well and those wind gusts to 50 miles per hour creating very adverse conditions but even along i-70 where there's no advisory we still anticipate at least a couple more inches of a additional snowfall. This is uh, what we expect in addition to what is already on the ground and on the eastern plains. High fire danger with all that wind. Red flag warning goes until 6 p.m. Pam Boswick in Littleton has 66 this midday. Larry and Brush has 76, but most of us have now reached our high temperature for the day and we're going to see those temperatures drop through the rest of the day and we'll fall all the way down to 37 tonight. Again, we've got about a 60% chance of rain late afternoon. That chance continues into this evening. Tomorrow 59 and then lower 60s on Thursday, near 70 on Friday, 60 57 on Saturday and 54 on Sunday. Chance for a few sprinkles at the end of the Broncos game, and it will be cool. It's actually going to feel like football weather for this home game. Temps in the 40s for most of the game.